Greetings Backquarry as it's Stuart Strategos level 3 back for another using MechHQ for campaign operations where we're looking at how to use uh, MechHQ to support a pan, paper and dice campaign of campaign operations. What we're going to do now is we are, we've got our uh, crew uh, of uh, mech warriors, we've got our mechs and now we need those important support personnel. The personnel that are going to put these mechs back together when they get shot up. So we need some technicians first of all. Uh, again there are two ways to add the technicians. I'm going to use the easiest way here. I'm going to use the bulk uh, hire personnel but you could just do hire um, again you have to choose the right one the mech tech because there are different technicians for different equipment and you could click hire. I'm not going to do that I'm going to go to marketplace and do bulk hire personnel which is quite useful if you're outfitting a whole uh, company of 12 and we're going to select from this drop down box here mech tech and this is going to hire us four mech techs off we go and there they are so we've got a green a veteran a regular and a regular that's a good spread um, it's actually really important to have one good technician at least veteran um, because when you repair items, if you fail to repair them, only a tech with a higher skill level can repair them. Um, no, you, you, otherwise you'll have to throw it away and, and do it again, which is a pain if it's like a whole torso. So we're going to set the, uh, this person here, who's the veteran here, we're going to set them as being an officer and we're going to give them the rank of Master Sergeant, which is a great rank for a, master, a Chief Technician and we are going to then have just a look at the, at the stats they've got so if i click double click on these you can see that they've got anti um, they've got the mech repair skill if actually if i just go to gm mode edit you can see that this person has a tech mech skill of six plus which is good it's a level four uh, this person also seems to have anti mech so obviously as a former life as a commando um, part of the random skills and that's all ready to go so we've got our four uh, technicians now our technicians need to be assigned to uh, mechs um, they don't have to really be assigned to mechs but basically it's a tradition that each mech or each uh, one is assigned as a technician to the mech so we go to assign to unit as tech to a mech and we basically assign each one and this is just saying that this is the mech, this is the technician that's going to be performing the maintenance. Now we've said that we're not going to use the maintenance rules inside um, Mech HQ. We're just going to use the pen and paper maintenance rules, which just means once every uh, work period, um, either one week, if you're doing a high intensity um, combat operations, or once a month if it's low intensity, then you've got to make a maintenance check using the uh, rules and campaigns ops. Um, I will mention actually with those maintenance checks that you're making, if I go to the um, if I go to the hangar, you can actually modify uh, the units here and actually change their uh, quality. So you can actually go to GM and edit quality, so set quality, and you can change the quality of the mech. So in actual fact, at the beginning, we can say all of our mechs are actually quality D. So I don't know if I can do these multiple. Let's see if I can do that. GM mode, set quality. So all of our mechs are starting at quality D, which is average for, for our, our units. And then we can change that manually as the campaign goes on to represent whether or not they're being looked after well or the maintenance roles are being made. So that's our um, next step of adding our uh, technicians. We also want to add some extra personnel. So we need a doctor. That's quite important because people are going to get hurt. And we need to add a doctor, not a medic, but a doctor. OK, so we click on the doctor and we're going to hire them. I um, don't think this is a particularly good doctor, but there we go. We can look at that and we could say, oh, maybe we don't want that doctor because they're green. Maybe let's make it least that that doctor is a 
competent doctor. Or you could just say tough. You rolled it. That's what you have to have. We're going to set them as a level four doctor veteran. So we've got a doctor there and we need to add some admin people. Now admin people roughly works out as one admin person per 10 other people, um, not including admin. And you can find out how many admin people you need by clicking on unit rating. Unit rating, uh, if you've read campaign ops, you know is something that's calculated by lots of different uh, aspects unit reputation experience commander combat record transportation lots of different things and down here it tells you that in this company so far we need one admin support it says there's one available because the doctor is technically an admin but the doctor is going to be healing people so let's add another one i'm going to add the hire an admin now again these four admin command logistic transport hr are not actually it doesn't change what they do so it doesn't really matter which one you choose i'm just going to click admin command he's there we go i'm going to add him and when i look at his abilities there go to gm mode and edit I can see he's got an administration skill of level three. Okay, so and again, you could decide whether you want to increase that or not. You could say he's our chief admin person. You could say he's a level four. This is also gonna be used for procuring items as well later on. So that's our admin personnel. We've got all of the admin people we need for the moment. Next up, we're going to show you how to add a drop shipping crew now you can you can skip that one if you want because you don't need to you could decide your your met crew are not going to be using a drop ship but for those people who want to run drop ships we'll show you that in the next video